Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Tonight our topic is at the beach. Let's get started. At the beach. Today we'll look at beach equipment vocabulary, what you need to rent a boat or jet ski, and a mock conversation about renting a boat. Swimming trunks. Swimming trunks. Swimming trunks are shorts worn by men for swimming. My swimming trunks from last year don't fit, so I have to buy new ones. Swimsuit. A swimsuit is a woman's one-piece swimming costume. Her favorite sim swimsuit is black. Bikini. A bikini is a two-piece swimming costume for women. My wife prefers a bikini when she is sunbathing. Beach towel. A beach towel is a large towel suitable for lying on while sunbathing. A beach towel is a great for keeping sand out of your swimwear. Beach chair. A beach chair is a simple chair with a folding frame and a piece of canvas as the seat and back. My beach chair is very comfortable. Lounger. A lounger is a comfortable chair for relaxing on, especially an outdoor chair that adjusts or extends, allowing a person to recline. I love laying out on a lounger with a good book. Beach Umbrella. A beach umbrella is a large umbrella used to provide shade on sunny beaches, lawns, etc. I'm glad we bought a beach umbrella to give us some shade. Beach blanket. A beach blanket is a large, thin blanket suitable for multiple people to lay on while sunbathing or eat on on a beach. We brought a beach blanket to eat our lunch on. Straw hat. A straw hat is a wide-brimmed hat made of straw designed to keep the sun out of one's eyes, particularly for sunbathing. She thinks she looks good in a straw hat. Flip-flops or thongs. Flip-flops are a light sandal typically of plastic or rubber, with a thong between the big and second toe. Flip-flops help me not to burn my feet on the asphalt. Sunglasses. Sunglasses are glasses tinted to protect the eyes from sunlight or glare. I can't stand being on the beach without my sunglasses. Goggles. Goggles are close-fitting glasses with side shields for protecting the eyes from glare, dust, or water. My goggles really help me to see underwater. Snorkel. A snorkel is a tube for a swimmer to breathe through while underwater. I bought a new snorkel this year so I could swim with the fish. Flippers or swim fins. Flippers, a flipper, is a flat rubber attachment worn on the foot for underwater swimming. He looks like a duck when he walks in his flippers. Surfboard. A surfboard is a long, narrow-shaped board used in surfing. 
The shark nearly got him on his surfboard. Beach ball. A beach ball is a large inflatable ball used for playing games on the beach. I always pack a beach ball so we can play volleyball. Volleyball net. A volleyball net is the high net that separates the two teams and over which the volleyball must pass. If the beach doesn't have a volleyball net, I don't want to go. Sand toys. Sand toys are toys made especially for shaping sand in things like castles. Usually they are buckets, shovels, and scoops. My son loves making sand castles with his sand toys. Boat. A boat is a small vessel for traveling over water, propelled by oars, sails, or an engine. I'm on a boat. Canoe. A canoe is a light, narrow boat with pointed ends and no keel, propelled with a paddle or paddles. Gliding over the ocean in my canoe is so relaxing. A jet ski or sea doo. A jet ski is a small jet propelled vehicle which skims across the surface of water and is ridden in a similar way to a motorcycle. He almost crashed his jet ski into a whale. Lifeguard. A lifeguard is an expert swimmer employed to rescue swimmers who get into difficulty at a beach or swimming pool. That lifeguard is so lazy. All he does is speak to his friends. Beach Vendor A beach vendor is a traveling kiosk that sells beach goods like sunglasses, hats, and drinks. I bought some sunglasses from that beach vendor. Sun cream or sunscreen Sun cream is a cream or lotion for protecting the skin from the sun and preventing sunburn. I got sunburnt because I forgot my sunscreen. Lifesaver A lifesaver is a life-saving buoy designed to be thrown to a person in the water to provide buoyancy and prevent drowning. The lifeguard used the lifesaver to save that drowning man. Boat rental. A boat rental is a place you can rent boats and jet skis for money. Some things to know about a boat rental. You may need to be at least 18 or even 25 years old to rent a boat and have a valid driver's license. Some boat rental offices require that you take a safety course as well. Now let's take a look at a conversation. So you want to rent a boat. Ahoy matey, what can I do for you? Hey captain, my friends and I were just talking about how fun it would be to rent a boat for the day. You've come to the right place. I'll just need some information from you before I can send you on your way. Excellent. What kind of information do you need? First of all, I need you to provide me with a valid driver's license. Here you go. Great. Just so you know, I'll have you and your friends watch a safety video before I give you the keys. But if I'm the driver of the boat, why do we all need to watch the safety video? 
That's because it has information on how any of you could save each other and my boat in an emergency. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you for clarifying. Great. Now, how many people are in your group? There are six, counting me. Then you will need a medium-sized boat. How long do you plan on using it? We thought we would rent it for the full day. Excellent. The price for a full day is listed here. That's acceptable. Do you need anything else before we go? Yes. As I said, I need you and your friends to watch this safety video and check out before departure. Here are your keys. Right, I forgot. Thank you. We'll watch it right now and then check out. Excellent. Have a great time. Thank you guys for paying attention. I hope you learned something today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a hot one, 31 degrees Celsius, and we're going to be talking about how to ask your friend out on a date. So thanks again and have a great night.